Welcome to Lecture Online. Another application for exponential functions is electric circuits. So what we have here is we have a circuit that has a battery, 100 volt battery, a resistor of 20 ohms, an inductor of 5 henrys, and the equation that describes the current in the circuit because at time equals zero what we do is we close the switch at time equals zero and then the current in the circuit is defined by this equation where we have V over R, which is Ohm's law, that would be the current in the circuit at the final state, times 1 minus E to the minus R over L times T. R over L is the time constant in the circuit. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the initial current, the final current, we're going to solve the equation for T, and then we're going to find out how much time has to elapse for the current to reach 3 amps. All right, what's the initial current? Well, the initial current is when time is equal to zero. So I, when time is equal to zero, is equal to V divided by R times one minus E to the minus R over L times zero. Now, any exponent being zero, we always get one. So E to the zero power is one, which means that this is equal to V over R times one minus one, which is equal to zero. That means when time is equal to zero, the current is equal to zero. So I equals zero when the time is zero. What will be the final current? Well, the final current will be reached when time goes to infinity. So I, when time approaches infinity, is equal to V over R times one minus E to the minus, and that would be R over L to the infinity. All right, so this is a negative exponent that would be 1 over e to the infinity, which is 0. That means this is equal to v divided by r times 1 minus 0, which is equal to v over r. And v is equal to 100 volts, and r is equal to 20 ohms. That would be equal to 5 amps. So when time reaches, when, when a lot of time has gone by and the, and the circuit stabilizes, reaches its final value, the final value in the current will be 5 amps. So it starts at 0 amps and it goes all the way to 5 amps. All right? how much time will have elapsed when I equals 3 amps? Well, to, to do that, we first need to take the equation and solve it for T. So here's our equation. In order to solve that equation for T, we'll have to isolate this portion of the equation. So the way we can do that, we can say, well, I is equal to and let's, let's do a substitution. Let V over R equal the final current, because that would be the final current in the circuit. So we call that I final. So I will be equal to I final times 1 minus E to the minus R over L times T. So we multiply that through. We get I as a function of time is equal to I final minus I final times E to the minus R over L times T. Now we divide, or not divide, we subtract I final from both sides. So we have I T minus I final is equal to minus I final times E to the minus R over L times T. Next, I'm going to multiply both sides by negative one by flipping this around. So I final minus I as a function of time is equal to the positive I final times E to the minus R over L times T. Now we divide both sides by I final to isolate this portion of the equation. So let me come up here. So we have I final minus I as a function of time divided by I final is equal to E to the minus R over L times T. And now we can take the natural log of both sides because now we can solve for T in that fashion. So we take the natural log of I final minus I as a function of time divided by I final is equal to the natural log of E to the minus R over L times T. And of course, this negates the exponential function. We get this back. I'm going to switch the equation around. So minus R over L times T is equal to the natural log of I final minus I as a function of time divided by I final. All right. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by negative L over R, and then I isolate, isolate the time. So the time is going to be equal to negative L over R times the natural log of I final minus I as a function of time divided by I final. 
and now I'm ready to solve my final portion of the problem. I want to know how much time has elapsed when I reaches 3 amps. So let me plug in all the values. So the time when I equals 3 amps is equal to minus L, L is 5, and R is 20, times the natural log of I final. I final would be 5 amps. I think I got that here somewhere. I lost it. Where did it go? Right here. I final is 5 amps, so it would be 5 minus 3 amps, because that's the condition for the problem right here, divided by 5, and what would that be equal to? All right. So we have 2 divided by 5. Take the natural log of that, multiply it times a negative 5, and divide by 20. And the amount of time that has elapsed is 0 0.2298. And that would be in terms of seconds. And so that's how much time it would take for the current to reach 3 amps. The final value would be 5 amps. And of course, that would probably take a little bit more of a fraction of a second to get there. And that's how we figure out the current in a circuit using these logarithmic and exponential functions. And that's how it's done.